center started 30 years ago by a group of family members and professionals who found that they had a family member who had survived a brain injury and they were not going to be able to return to life as it was, but they couldn't find services for them in the community. So that group of professionals and family members organized the Center for Head Injury Services. I came here when there was one program, and uh, now 24 years later, we have probably more than 20 different services, and we serve a variety of people beyond just brain injury. The importance of what we've done is we've built a continuum, so people can come out of the hospital after their rehabilitation, and they can get the services they need, continued medical therapy on to returning to work or back to living in the community in their home versus an institution. But what we've done is built that continuum for people of all kinds of disabilities, including autism. It's all a continuum saying, I want to reach my highest potential if that's working, if that's living independently on my own, and integrating in their community, participating in, in life. Danny um, aged out of the special school district in 2010, so he graduated. And um, when we had our interview with the state and they came out to review Danny, they told us that no day program or no service would ever take him. Between the severity of the seizures and his behavioral issues, they didn't feel like he was a good fit anywhere. My husband's boss seen an article in the newspaper about the Center for Head Injury. We interviewed him and they said they were willing to take him and give it a try and, you know, the rest is history. It's been wonderful. So we appreciate the program. I mean, I cannot describe to you how much we appreciate them. We need people to understand um, how important these services are to families. It is helping people that are often the most vulnerable in our community and we're here to help.